Hello and welcome to my first episode of uh, Full Stacker at Work, um, where I just will show you a mm, little bit about uh, how uh, the daily life of a full stack developer looks like. And uh, yes, uh, a lot about technologies, uh, the technologies which we are using, so basically which uh, full stack developer is involved, and um, all the tools that we are using and so on and so on. And um, actually, it's um, the best way to show it is just to have a project, for example. And um, I choose a um, long, long, uh, let me say, a uh, long awaited project from my side, um, which is basically a little bit an example project, but uh, it will have a, maybe a real world uh, usage later one day, but um, who knows. Uh, but it is a good project uh, which I wanted to start uh, for months now and I think this uh, full stack uh, developer series is the best way to start with it. And um, But um, let me first introduce myself. Right. Um, yes, I'm Victor. Well, let me show my page here. Um, I'm Victor. I'm working now for years uh, in uh, e-commerce projects and uh, I'm basically rooted in the C, C++ and uh, later switched to um, PHP and web technologies and uh, also uh, switched to uh, e-commerce projects. So now I'm work working near for maybe seven or eight years in the e-commerce project and uh, yes, and uh, today I just want to share all the knowledge which I have collected in my, um, in my career I just want to share it with you and I shall show you how um, how it looks like and so on. Um, today I'm uh, self-employed, let me say so. So basically I'm a freelancer. I have um, um, created a company where I try to earn my money for daily spendings. And um, yes, so if you... Um, you can visit my page, you can uh, reach me out, you can write me some matches, messages if you want. I would be really happy. Um, yes, that's it. Everything from my side. Um, so let us start. Let us let me introduce you my uh, my idea, my project, right? Um, exactly. But before we start, I will just explain you. So this is a, a let's code. So it means it's just I'll just uh, start from scratch. I have not so much notes here. So this is not a scripted version of a video. It is just uh, uh, we will just take a look on it and. Uh, um, yeah, so it means it, something will happen like this now. I will lose my lose my point, and I will just uh, try and to, to uh, try to rethink or something like this. And I totally lost my point <laughs> finally. Um, yes, so I will try not to cut a lot, uh, cut out a lot of my um, of this video. So um, we will just go on and code together. So for this case, I will um, sorry for that and. Um, Okay, let us start. Um, my project is called uh, Shelter, and the idea is because I was uh, for years involved in uh, um, with a lot of people who try to uh, save or to help uh, dogs or cats which are on the streets in uh, Vietnam. Um, yes, I lived uh, for a few years in Vietnam, and there uh, we had, the idea was born to. Uh, develop some uh, application to help the shelter owners or the administrators to manage their animals, basically, to manage everything, manage the, the history, the medical history, the names, manage the, um, the volunteers and uh, what pet is uh, available or not available, and uh, all the notes and so on and so on, maybe publish everything uh, in an automatic way on Facebook or on social channels. And yes, so the idea was born and um, actually we wanted already to start a few months ago, but as always, you don't have the time for this. And uh, yes, so I just, uh, no, but the next idea was born to start this uh, video series. And um, I think this uh, project now is a good way to... Uh, to, to start also with the project and to, to use this project for an example. Exactly. Um, so we will start totally from scratch. There's nothing prepared for my site, nothing. So I will just 
show you how it will look like when I will start a project. So let us just type, uh, dive into and start. Okay, um, for the very first, I will go to GitLab and create a new project. Right. Uh, my idea is just to save everything in um, in one single repository. I will don't share plenty of repositories, and maybe you have multiple repositories for each um, uh, part or, or each component of the software. So we will just have one repository. Right. I will don't. Uh, maybe later we can optimize it and so on and so on. And um, okay, we will see. So I already create a group. So Xanten is my company. Uh, shelter is the project group and I will create a new project called Shelter. Okay, so initialize with a readme and create a project. So now my repository is done. Um, yes, I need an icon maybe later. Um, this project will maybe shared later for um, open source uh, purposes so everyone can uh, contribute and so on but um, we will see let us first try to write some code okay so uh, actually i already know that draw io has a connection to gitlab and uh, when i try to show you the architecture it will be already committed and pushed everything to my gitlab repository so i will try it out today for the first time so let us do so I'll change my storage to gitlab i already authorized myself and i'll just create a new draw io so let me say uh, architecture architecture draw io create a new blank diagram uh, need to uh, no, I need to find the right shelter shelter here. Select folders, I will use just the project root and it's done. No commit message, <laughs> very funny. Edit uh, architecture draw IO. Okay, so I will try to use this uh, draw IO. Uh, sheet to show you about a uh, little bit about the application. Let me just reload to see if it worked. Crazy, <laughs> it worked. I never tried out before. Cool. Okay. Um, yes, page one. Introduction. So, what is uh, Troio? What what we will try to achieve with this application? So, let me just show you the idea. Right. So, um, at first we have uh, pets. Or let me say dogs and cats so you know at first we have a lot of, lot of dogs and cats on this planet who are living on the streets oh this cat does not look that like funny but okay this one no they are all ugly and they are all and and this one is pretty nice let me choose this one so we have a lot of dogs and cats on this planet which are living on the streets which are abandoned which are sick and need a lot of help from our side right so and um, yes and there are people who care about it who care about the pets and so on and basically let me say there the people are um uh, the the uh, administrators so it is pe these people here wow well, it's not a good picture. I will have one with a face, maybe. Uh, yeah, great. So now we have a lot of people, right? And they care about um, about uh, these pets here. So and they want to help them, and they're doing it by creating some kind of uh, by organizing or administrating some uh, shelters, and uh, so basically this is um, where the pets. Uh, uh, right, so and this uh, where the pets are uh, get involved, so their pets are living in the shelters, and so on and so on. And uh, the, the the let me say the shelter administrator or the shelter owner want to uh, to have some tool to administrate uh, to organize everything about them. So basically, so they want to have some kind of uh, they want to have to an application or a tool to. Uh, organize or not prompt to organize the the, the volunteers it's because um, uh, there are always volunteers involved who want to help all the people all the people I say <laughs> they want to help uh, help all the animals and so basically there are a lot of um, um, volunteers involved in this um, in this uh, 
organization. There are also maybe some medical list. Um, uh, let me just call a list. Uh, something like this. No, a list. Oh, this one. So the people also need some kind of a medical list. The people, why is it always people? Yeah. Pets. The pets need a medical list where you have to store everything about uh, vaccinations and um, their visits and uh, on a veterinary, veterinary, yes, pet doctors or animal doctors. Uh, all the visits, all the surgeries, all the Basically, they, they like we humans, we also have a medical history. So we need to, some tool to maintain the medical history. We need also some tool uh, to store front. Uh, yes, where we can show um, the, the history about the animals, where we can show some funny uh, pictures, or maybe we, we want to show a more detailed page about it, people can see the animals and where they can uh, watch them, the history and so on. And so basically we need some kind of a um, storefront, something like a, let me say, a detailed page for every pet. And we also want to social, let me move to Facebook. And we also want an integration into uh, social media. So to automize a little bit, to have some automated tools about uh, how to publish uh, some news about the pets and so on and so on um, or not the pets basically they are still not pets and um, uh, yes so basically to, to help them to uh, to publish messages on social media so maybe they want to um, write one message and publish them on different channels or something like this right and uh, also maybe later to have a history about um, um, about or some statistics, let me say so, or some history. Uh, do I have a funny oh, time machine? Yes, time machine. It's a cool one. Ah, sorry for this. <laughs> As you see, it's not scripted. Everything is um, okay. I think the history is a good one. Let me just correct it. So, we also want to have uh, some uh, history notes, right? Um, So it's also involved in our um, it's the shelter. So we want to to see how successful we were. Maybe in two thousand in twenty twenty one we um, we have successfully um, uh, saved ten dogs, and now they have funny families and uh, so on and so on. And uh, of course, and the last one, Cloud. We have a second type of uh, people involved in this. These are basically the, the new parents of the, all the dogs here, and the cats, of course, um, the new parents or the new, uh, the new family of all these pets. Uh, they also need to be maintained here. So everything here is um, um, some basic requirements. So basically um, everything uh, is, uh, has to be done today in some way. So people today using a lot of um, Docs, uh, um, online documents, or CSV files, or um, I don't know what kind of tools that people are using. Maybe they're using some a simple Trello board to organize the life and to organize all this uh, uh, working in those shelters. And um, and uh, we will build a tool to help them with those with this to basically to solve all those problems and to combine everything, uh, all the features combined into one application, so they can just easily use it. Um, later for their purposes exactly so this is how it looks like these are the requirements right <coughs> sorry okay um yes so what we try to achieve archi ar architecture like that uh, as you may be here i was sick a few, few days so my voice is not the best but i will try my best to not lose my voice exactly so the architecture what we try to build so basically we need uh, one application or oh, let me say we want to build one api right so we want to have one api which is basically a y api because um i don't i want to be independent or basically uh, the idea is to be independent i don't know how the storefront will look like maybe um 
later we will build a mobile application or we will build a Vue.js application or we will build I don't know what and uh, basically um, as always, I want to start with an API where everything is stored. So basically, yeah, the API will be the heart of uh, our application. Yes, I need to drink some water. Yes, um, besides the uh, administration, besides the API, I want to have some kind of an administration tool. It is something like you would say a CSV, um, a CSV, a CMS tool. You know, basically, we can use a, a WordPress or maybe Craft CMS or maybe some other headless solution. But <coughs> we will build a simple one. So we will build an API. Later, we will build an administration where the um, shelter owners can uh, log in and uh, organize all their life and daily work. Right, and of course. We will have some kind of storefront again. So we will have some kind of a UI. And this UI will also consume the API. So basically, let me go it this way to show you. And yes, so the storefront will also uh, consume the API, the same API as the administration to. Um, um yes to display the pages and all the history about the, the animals the pets right um yes and uh, that's basically it so we will start with an api we will implement some tools later on we will go to to build some administration and also maybe a few simple um tools and few simple uh, pages about the um storefront everything will be um with uh, different technologies and uh, so you will see how a um, uh, full stack developer basically uh, uh, the, the huge variety of technologies it uh, is necessary for a full stack developer to uh, build this kind of application so and uh, then you will um, wait a second my smartphone is uh, annoying me so I'll just turn it off exactly and then um, uh, in this uh, uh, example application, example project, I will just show you a different kind of a very various or, or yes, a huge um, amount of technologies which is involved to build this. Exactly. Um, we'll just use an API, later we will build our administration uh, and so on, and then the storefront. So basically it's an ongoing progress. Uh, we will not finish the API first, we will just finish a small feature and uh, then we will continue with the next feature and the next feature. And so on. Yes. Um, so, but uh, for the beginning, we will start with the API. I just uh, choose the traditional way. So, my API, I will build in uh, PHP because I'm uh, very good at PHP. I know how everything works. And um, yes, so it's, uh, I don't need to learn a lot of new stuff, maybe some uh, JavaScript technologies or so on. So, I will just use where I'm familiar with. Uh, maybe some people will hate me about it, but it's okay. Um, beside of PHP, I choose to use a traditional MySQL. MySQL. Yeah, this is also look a funny icon. So, beside of PHP, I decided to go the um, traditional MySQL way. So, this will be a easy end in Nginx as an uh, Nginx as an uh, application. So. As a, let me say as a poster or a load balancer or so on and so on. <coughs> yes, yeah, so these are the tools which we will use, right? Uh, beside, uh, let me say, PHP, um, I decided to use Symfony as a PHP framework because also I'm very familiar with this and uh, Symfony is a very, uh, um, yes, it's a well developed. Um, a framework basically all the frameworks which you out of this world use some kind of components of symphony so basically symphony is always the right choice so a little bit water exactly and symphony and of course i would uh, use a little bit of docker uh, to set up my uh, development environment and maybe later also to use some Kubernetes for Kubernetes. Oh, 
people need this data to use. Um, no, what's going on here? Well, where's the Kubernetes cube? Cube CTL. Kubernetes. There's no Kubernetes icon. I cannot believe it. <laughs> hmm. Which icon I should use? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, ah, you get it. Okay. So, and also maybe later for uh, for hosting this application, I will use uh, Kubernetes. Maybe something different. Actually, I'm not really uh, decided um, which way I will go. But basically, this is a traditional setup. Right, we will use Docker for local development. We will set up a PHP application with Symfony and MySQL and Nginx. And then we will start working on it. And one day when it's going about uh, the DevOps part and the deployment part, we will uh, maybe go the traditional um, Nginx way or we will see. Okay, and uh, this will be our first step. And when this uh, setup is done, then we will continue talking about administration and our storefront. Okay, so let me now do my first save. Ha, never did it before. Okay, so edit uh, introduction and architecture sheets. Okay. Save, save. Okay, all changes saved. <laughs> Crazy. It works. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I never tried it on before, but uh, I love the technologies. It's the best technologies. Okay, so yes, that's it. So from this case, um, uh, we are done with our first episode. Uh, you just uh, had a deep, uh, uh, a deep, not a deep one, but just a raw overview about the project and what we tried to achieve. And uh, yes. They will see us in the next episode.